This is experiment 5, pH titration of acetic acid with sodium carbonate and calibrating the pH tester. I've got my pH tester right here. I'm going to turn it on. I am going to uh, put it into uh, a rinse of distilled water. Always a good idea before you put it into any solution. And I'm only putting it into this level right here, which is all it can go right now. And this is distilled water. And then give it a little shake to rinse off any, or to have any extra water come off. Not too violent, just keep any extra water coming off. And now I'm going to place it into my pH 6.86 solution. I don't know if you can see that, it's close to 6.86, but not exactly. Again, only putting it into the solution up to the level where the cap covers. And now I'm going to turn it around so I can hit the calibration button for two seconds. It starts blinking with 6.86. And then it says end. Then I know that I'm done. So I shake off that solution back in there, rinse off my pH electrode, and you can probably rinse with the same uh, distilled water for most of a lab. Uh, I don't know, I tend to dip it in 10 or 20 times. All right, now I'm going to put it into the pH 4.01. Yeah, it's good to see that we're calibrating. Give it a little swirl, 5 to 10 seconds. That's 3.5. I'm going to calibrate it now by holding it down for two seconds. It recognizes this as 4.01. And by the time I turn it around, it's ended and it's done. And my calibration is complete. So then I rinse it with distilled water. And I'm ready to do the rest of the experiment. My uh, pH tester is calibrated for the rest of the semester.